Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make some sad and emotional piano beats all from scratch in FL Studio. We're going to make the sample and everything else completely from scratch and I'm also going to show you guys some super cool tricks you might not have known about. So let's not waste any time, let's just get straight to it. Alright, so now we are here in FL Studio 21 as you guys can see and the piano I have loaded up for this tutorial is actually going to be this the grand door piano from Contact. The only adjustment I'm going to do for this piano is just lower the lid down a little bit. So I'm just going to press this button once over here. As for the BPM, I'm actually going to bump it up to about 165. And the scale we're going to be working in is going to be E minor. So since we are working in the E minor scale, I'm just going to start off by laying down the root note down here. So I'm going to extend this about two bars over here. Then all we're going to do is just copy this over and lower it down two semitones. Now, just to make this a little bit more unique, I'm actually going to move this one over here and extend this one all the way. Then for the last root note again, we're just going to copy this one over and pitch it down two yet again. Again, let's just extend this out and then move it down one semitone at the end over here. Now for the chords, I'm just going to copy these three first ones and pitch them up by one octave as well. Then to make an E minor chord, you would usually skip the first highlighted note, put one on this G. Again, skip the highlighted note and put this one on B. But since we actually are making this emotional type of stuff, I'm actually going to make an E minor chord like this. But I'm just going to delete this top note just so we have the two first notes in the scale. I'm going to do the same thing for these two, so just copy them up over here. But for this last one, I'm actually going to make the normal chord like this. But I'm going to invert these two up by one octave. Now remember to strum the notes so they sound a little bit more realistic and randomize the velocity. So as you guys can hear, the chord progression sounds super emotional. Now we obviously want to add a little bit more movement to this piano melody. So now we really want to play around with the notes in the higher octaves. So a super cool trick to really get that realistic sounding piano sound is actually to cut up some of the notes you're actually using in the chord. And then you want to layer a note on top of it. But make sure you adjust it a little bit slightly to the side so they don't hit on the exact same time. And then just adjust the velocity a little bit down here and it's going to sound super realistic. Just take a listen. So you can really hear how that trick right there makes a huge difference to the sound. Now let's keep on adding some filler notes here and there so just so we can keep that movement for the second part as well. Now a nice trick to keep these notes consistent but still make them switch up a little bit is actually just to copy them over like this but then we're just going to push them down by five semitones. piano sounds fire right now. Now we just need to add some effects to really enhance that atmosphere we're looking for. So I'm just going to start off by opening up this Valhalla Vintage Verb. Then I'm actually going to go over to these presets over here and I'm actually going to use this spacious vocal preset over here. It's a super underrated preset but it sounds fire. So we're just turning the mix to about 21%. Then we're just adding this EQ as well. Usually just adding this J37, really add that tape saturation to the sample. So you can really hear how we have this first part being a little bit more busy. And then for the second part, I've kept it more simple. This is because we need to add a counter melody to the piano. And for these emotional type of beats, vocals usually fit perfectly. So I'm thinking of adding a little bit of a more simple vocal pattern on the first part. And then we can have more of a busier phrase at the end. So for the vocals, I'm just going to open up Hooked in Arcade. And I'll try to find a nice sounding vocal phrase. I think this is going to sound fire. really need to make those vocals yeah. super ambient. Yeah. And we're going to tuck them out a little bit. Yeah, we can pitch them up as well. Just going to make sure to add an imager to the vocals, just so we can widen out the sound. This is seriously starting to come together. 
All right, so for the next time, I'm gonna show you guys a super cool trick. So if you have any of these session guitarists in contact, there's a super cool trick you can actually do with these guitars. Now, before I show you guys this trick, I just wanna shout out my boy Foggy made it. I saw one of his videos and he seriously put me on this right here. So the trick is actually to use this bend knob over here. If I just play one note on my keyboard, it sounds like this. But if I play it while I use this bending tool over here, it's gonna make a huge difference. You can hear that right there, sounds crazy. So I don't really know any way to automate this pen knob, to be honest, so I'm just gonna record it into Edison and then I'll put it inside of the playlist. As for the effects on the guitar, I'm just gonna put on this room at about 45%. Then I'm using this Guitar Rig 6. It's this classical 70s wah preset. It seriously sounds super fire if you're using those electric type of guitar VSTs. Then we have a simple EQ and again, some tape saturation. Just take a listen to how smooth the bending note sounds on the first part. Yeah, that's fire. So the last thing I'm going to do for the sample is just go over to my Imperial One Shot Kit. And I love adding some percussion loops for these more emotional beats. So I'm just adding this perk loop 14, just so we can have it in the background. So now that we have the quick sample down, let's put on some drums. As for the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Euphoria bundle kit. So if you guys like the sounds you hear, you can obviously check them out. It's on my website, it's bbmarco.com, or you can just click the first link down below. So we're just starting off with a simple clap pattern. Just so we can get that bounce going. Then we wanna add some hi-hats. As for the hi-hat MIDI, I'm just gonna drag in one from my pack. Yeah, this one right here is kind of wavy. It's a little bit simple in the start. Let's go in and add some open hats. Yeah, that's fire. Let's add a reverse one as well. And yeah, now it stops perfectly on the clap. Ooh, this 808 is fire, bro. Pitch down the sample a little bit as well. Yeah, that's crazy. Now let's layer a kick with that 808 and that should pretty much be it. Yeah, that's fire with a lot of space in between the hits. Now let me just quickly arrange this one and I'll show you guys the final beat. Right, so in the intro we have the piano and the vocals. The perk clip just goes through the whole thing. Shut up, Marco. 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 Then it drops to the hook. Here we have the guitar. Then we bring back the vocal again. Mm. So fire right there. Let me slow it down in a verse. The 808 comes in a little bit late. Then we go back to the other parts. Pretty much just the same part as the intro. Then it goes back to the hook. 